I'm here with George Barker of CameraHolster.com, and he's going to show us some pretty cool holsters. George? Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. We make all these in Estes Park, Colorado. Our whole leather camera case system is built around the holster technology. And as you may or may not know, the, the structural hard point of any digital SLR camera is right here where my fingertips are. And our case is built the same way, so that when you put your camera in this case, we never want that lens to touch the bottom of the case because there's a lot of electronics in that lens we need to protect. The case then needs to be covered or brought open. We also provide a, a strap to keep the camera from falling out of the case. We also come, each case comes with a complete hood which covers the case for when you're outdoors and don't want to get rain on it. This unsnaps and detaches so our customers wear it open or with the hood. The other thing we do is we provide a belt loop for each case so you can wear it on your own belt or you can buy one of our custom belts. And we also have a shoulder strap. Now we call it a four-way strap. And the reason we do that is I'll pick this up and show you. The strap can be worn very much like a handbag over your shoulder or it can be worn across your body and on your hip. Or it can be worn around your waist like a belt so it's comfortably held on your hip. Or with this third D-ring in the back of each case, you simply unhook this snap, hook it to the third D-ring, and since I ride a motorcycle and paddle a canoe and ride a horse, you can carry it right here bandolier style. That's great, that's nice. Or down here like a sling. And I'm a fly fisherman, so I need it to stay <laughs> out of the way. Uh, we do other things uh, with the leather goods. We have a, a great uh, affection for the Four Corners area of the desert southwest. And the Anasazi uh, native Indians uh, left us some images on walls starting 5,000 years ago right. at a place we call Newspaper Rock. So to celebrate journalism, we've had a lady named Alice Seeley in Santa Fe create a medallion of the petroglyphs that have been left there over 5,000 years. And you've had that inset into the case here? We stitched that into these limited edition cases. So mm -hmm. you can find those also on cameraholster.com. All right, so it's a little tribute there. It's nice. And as any leather worker will tell you, some of the finest leather goods are hand-tooled. And we have some of the greatest saddle makers in North America helping us hand-tool these leather cases. Uh, and this is something your kids will fight over. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. All right. Uh, and that's the story of CameraHolster.com. Well, how much do these uh, holsters generally run? Generally, they start around two or three hundred dollars, depending on your camera, mm -hmm. and they go up. This is a nine hundred dollar case, uh, and then we make custom lengths. Some of our customers have the long lenses, Ooh. so this would be <laughs> like for a seventy to two hundred. Right. Most of our customers wear these down here on their hip so they can draw them out. So this is the shooter. Clint Eastwood model here. This is the, we actually call it a Buntline special. Okay, all right. And Ned Buntline was the great journalist that followed Wyatt Earp. Oh, and he had Colt produce uh, a long 45 peacemaker for Wyatt Earp. <laughs> so this commemorates Ned Buntline. Well, all right, <laughs> a little bit of history there. That's great. Yeah. So. And so where do people go to find out more about it? Uh, CameraHolster.com or come see us at our leather shop in Estes Park, Colorado. That's where we make them. All right. Well, thanks very much. Thank you, sir.